EVs are going off the grid. And they may never get back on it. Hello, everybody. Michael Vincent, Noble Logistic, News and Entertainment, Stench Free Zone, EnviroGuard, and Ideonomics. Superheroes? Maybe. Bridging the gap for EVs until the grid can catch up? Also, a maybe. I say maybe because why get back on the grid if you can have a clean source of electricity to charge your EV fleet in your own backyard? And it's mobile. A fleet owner article from April 24th covers the mobile off-grid charging technology. Matt Miller, Chief Revenue Officer of EnviroChart, talks about gap to grid and beyond. Well, it's not totally green, but it isn't a Nikola Trey charging on a diesel generator overnight in a test. Test failed. Using renewables and cleaner fuels like propane, RNG, CNG, and hydrogen, these stationary and mobile pods are providing a bridge to the future of our sustainability grid. However, considering the remote operations of many potential EV users, the technology is a gap from old to new and has staying power well into the future if you ask me, we're talking fast chargers, 80% in 20 minutes. I see Road Ranger charging services and on-site charging services as well. I mean, why wouldn't the whole on-site fueling industry go electric? Because diesel can't flow through copper, that's why, you dumbass. True, but neither can electricity in volumes anywhere near what will be needed to fuel the onslaught of EVs that is coming down the pike. The advancements are coming so fast that even Andrew Boyle, vice chair of the ATA, can't help but wax erroneous in front of Congress. Check out Michael Bernard's article in cleantechnica.com. According to Boyle, EVs only have a range of about 10 miles and need a week to charge. From solid state batteries to new tech creating hydrogen directly from seawater, EVs will be ready way before the grid. Baby steps and collaboration. That's what these guys are doing. You should too.